Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on Assets Database. Today we're going to learn how to import a CSV file into the database. We're still using the 2010 past paper for this work. Alright, so you open a new database and when you come to the blank database, when you open a new database, it looks like this. So you open, you click on blank desktop database. That is if you are using the 2013 access. All right, now at this point here, you have to give the name of the file or the database you want to create. So here we just naming it as important, okay? So important. And again, with this browser, you locate the destination of the file where you want to save the file. So I want to save it within my working area and so and um, within a new folder and click on it. OK. Having done that, I click on create. So wait for it to open. Now, once the database is created, it comes with or is open it comes with a, a table so we will close this table because we do not need it so we we'll go to external data when you go to external data you want to import the text file um, the text the CSV file is a text file which is comma separated values so you click on text file and then you browse for the location of the file the, the location of the file is my working area. So I go to working area as 2010 past paper. So I double click on the text file we see here. You can see it say .csv. So double click on it and click on OK. All right. From here, you make sure it always come with this default delimited character such as comma separated comma or tab separate make sure that is always thick and go to nest and at this point here you have to check um, if you look at this here it has um, that's a field name so uh, model size price skill level win condition use and another list goes on there if you scroll okay you find the field names at the top. Now it is the field name because it's different from the fields we see below there. Once we check this, that says first row contains field names, that session is, is done, All right? So always make sure you check first row contains field name and go to next. Then we go to next from here, all right? Now, at this point, you go to advance. And advance, you have to check the question to make sure that the field names and the data types we have here match. So, looking at the question we have here, the first three is text, text, and then numeric or one decimal place. You have to check if they are the same. So, I have text, text, this is numeric. So, I have to change it to integer. Okay, numeric is the same as integer, so you change that to integer. And um, when you look at the question, it says um, one decimal place. We're going to do that after we've imported the CSV file. The next one is currency, and the next the next three is text. So we just have to check if this is that. Price is currency, so we change that to currency, and then we have text, text, text. So we have to check the last two. The last two is integer and logical. All right, so we check that. So integer, and then we have logical. So you change this last bit to yes, no, which is the same as logical or Boolean. So once you are done with that part, you click on OK. Now, anytime you see ID, it means one, two, three, and not a specific ID. It tells us that the CSV file you have does not have a unique field which will be used for the primary key so you check no primary key once you do that you click on next and then because this is a table you put 
TBL in front to show that you have a table. So TBL and that shows that this is a table and you click on finish. Okay, I hit on close. And this table has been imported without any error. Right, so double click on the table to open it and then go to home and then you go to design view. Now we go to design view to make the changes we need to do with number. You remember the question says that number should be one decimal place and currency should be two decimal place and boolean and stock item also should be logical. So we have to change that part within this place which is a design view. Alright, so under size you locate decimal place. So decimal place is now on auto. You change it to one. So one and we do that for currency. You go to the simply decimal place and then you change that to two and then you come to stock item which is yes no. Go to format and under format you change it to true or yes no. Alright so we took yes no and having done that you have completed the first part, which is question 35, which talks about importing a CSV file. So having done that, all you have to do is to save your work. And the next point says you have to take a screenshot. So using a snipping tool, all I have to do is to take a screenshot all the way down. And that is it for the screenshot. So once you take the screenshot, you copy it and paste it onto a Word document and save it as such. All right, so on this note, we can say bye-bye, and um, I encourage all of you to keep practicing, and that is the only way you'll be good at it. So until we meet again next time, be good. Bye-bye.